Welcome book lovers for another episode of Book Summary. Today, I am going to tell you the summary of a very interesting book. If you are the one who is struggling to develop a positive mindset and are unable to achieve your desired goals, then this book is for you. Watch this video till the end and implement the tips and techniques mentioned in this book so that you can move ahead in your life. So without wasting much of the time, let's jump in. This book, Practicing Mind, is written by the author Thomas this book has got more than 4.4 star ratings on Amazon. The Practicing Mind is a book that helps you to understand and develop the skills of mindfulness, which involves living in the present moment and focusing on the process rather than on the outcome. This approach can transform your life, bringing your patience and the ability to enjoy your journey. By practicing mindfulness, we can find calm and fulfillment. Author says, everything in life worth achieving requires practice. Life is essentially a long practice session, an ongoing effort to refine your actions. When you embrace this idea, even challenging tasks can become stress-free experience of joy and calm. This mindset helps balance all areas of your life and provides a clearer perspective on difficulties. Author says, practicing mindfulness shapes who we are, what we become and how we view others. It builds self-discipline and self-awareness which are essential for personal growth. The problem with the multitasking. Thomas says, our culture encourages multitasking. We are constantly told that doing many things at once boosts productivity. And we even teach this to our children. But while multitasking is sometimes necessary, our mind becomes restless, makes it difficult to focus on just one thing. This constant mental activity tires us out and stresses us. Imagine your mind as a vehicle. When driven by a disciplined driver, the ride is smooth. But when the driver is distracted, the ride becomes bumpy and exhausting. If you can't control your thoughts, you cannot control yourself. True power comes from self-awareness. Here author Thomas Turner says, Developing patience and discipline is tricky because both require each other. For example, while learning a skill like playing an instrument, progress requires daily practice. Just turning off distractions like TV can free up time for a meaningful practice. Author says, as you practice, you not only get better at the skill, but also begin to enjoy the process itself. Unfortunately, many of us have a bad habit of focusing too much on the final product rather than the process. We see the process as a nuisance, something we have to get through to achieve our goal. This mindset rubs us of the joy of learning and growing. The key is to shift our focus from the end result to the process. When we do that, we eliminate frustration and impatience. We become more present and put our full energy into what we are doing. This shift in perspective allows us to feel calm and in control. We no longer waste energy on thoughts unrelated to the task at hand. Studies has proven that by focusing on the present, you will find that the pressure drops away. When your goal is simply to pay attention to what you are doing in the moment, every moment becomes a success. The next chapter is Judgment and Energy. Here author says, Judging ourselves or others wastes energy. Instead of criticizing, focus on the process. This shift brings inner peace, mastery and self-confidence. You will feel more in control as you stay focused on what you are working on it at the present. Without this focus, our mind tends to jump from one thought to another all day long, often revisiting the same thoughts. This scattered brain thinking drains us. Here, author Thomas gives a simple technique of developing a practical mindset and breaks down to a four simple rules. The first rule is stay focused on the process. Second rule is remain in the present moment. The third rule is make the process your goal using your overall goal only as a guide to steer your efforts. And the final fourth rule is be deliberate with your actions and stay aware of your intentions. These principles will help eliminate the anxiety and frustrations that come from being too result driven. The myth of perfection. A lot of anxiety comes from the belief that there is a perfect end state for everything we do. We constantly compare ourselves to an ideal that we think we should be striving. This comparison makes us feel like we are not good enough. Whether it's earning more money, buying a nicer car or living in a bigger house, 
we often pursue these things thinking they will bring us happiness but real perfection is about recognizing that you are always growing there is no final destination only continual improvement work versus play we often find it easier to stay present during a recreational activities than during the work the difference come down to how we label these activities we see work as something we have to do and play as something we enjoy by changing how we view tasks we can turn any activity into an enjoyable one developing the good habits habits are learned behaviors and they can be chosen deliberately the first step in self improvement is becoming aware of our habits especially those that aren't serving us we must become more mindful of what we are doing thinking and aiming for this awareness gives us the power to change our life expectations are tied to the result if we constantly think i won't be happy until i achieve this we set ourselves for the disappointment when we experience frustration it's a sign that you have lost the touch with the present moment every habit we form is based on the repetition for example research shows that repeating a specific actions like practicing the sports movement 60 minutes a day for 21 days will make it a habit this practice can work in your favor when you are trying to form the positive habits or change the negative ones when it comes to breaking old habits a technique called trigger can be helpful trigger is something that prompts you to act in a desired way before your old habit takes over this skill patience is a skill that everyone wants to develop it's defined as quiet perseverance but it also includes calmness whether we are stuck in traffic talking to a difficult person or trying to master a new idea patience helps us to maintain peace when we are impatient we feel negative emotions the impatience is usually a sign that we are not living in the present moment instead our minds are rushing ahead trying to solve problems that haven't even occurred yet this habit of worrying scatters our energy the first step is developing patience is noticing when your mind is running wild if you are unaware of this you can't control it once you become aware you can bring your focus back to the present moment the second step is realizing that there is no such thing as perfection life is a process of continuous growth simplicity in practice to develop the practicing mind break down the task into simple steps start small set short intervals for practice and move slowly these techniques makes it easier to stay focused and immersed in the process for example if you are cleaning a garage don't try to do everything at once start with one corner and work for a short amount of time each day going slowly helps you stay away and reduces the likelihood of feeling overwhelmed by simplifying tasks breaking them into simple parts and working at a comfortable pace you can make any project more manageable staying focused on the process allows you to achieve more with the less effort these four principles work together to make staying in the process easier by applying them to any part of your life you will find that even the most daunting task becomes achievable dear friends my favorite quote from this book practicing mind is habits and practice are very interrelated what we practice will become a habit final thoughts developing a practicing mind puts you in a control of your life you can handle difficult situations with ease accomplishment more with less stress by focusing on the process rather than the product you free yourself from anxiety and allow yourself to grow in a healthy fulfilling way subscribe to my channel mindset master health where i'll be telling you different tips and techniques from the world's self help books and this will help you to grow and lead a successful lifestyle see you with a new book next week thank you